So we're going to do a test now with a TrueViz with the Shamrock little icons on it, little logo things here, against the MaxFly Tor X, but with dots. So I just stuck these dots on here about 10 minutes ago. I hit about five or six balls to warm up. I got some kind of back thing going on right now, but um, these stickers are already coming off. So I'm not enjoying the stickers. I would like to use something like this where I don't have to worry about it coming off. Now, you can buy Bridgestone balls with the Unicor QED. However, those balls are garbage. Okay, so I'd like to use these. So can I use these? Let's find out. So I'm gonna start with a pitching wedge. I'm gonna start with the Max Fly ball. I'm gonna hit three shots with it and see what kind of spin numbers we get. Foot slipped a little bit on that one, but it's fine. Just trying to see what kind of numbers we come back with. 5,700. See, some of these dots are already gone. I can look down and see them. I've only hit maybe 10 shots max. Okay, 6,100. And these are easy swings. I, I can't swing full speed, so we're going to go along with what I got here. So we're just gonna do what I can today, but should still see the result we're looking for though. Let's hit one more. That hurt, and then I just saw a big dot fly off. So 87, spin went up on that one. However, I lost the dot. Yeah, here's a dot right here. So let's see if I can figure out where that goes. I'm sure it'll fall right off again though. All right, now let's switch over to the TrueViz. And I'm gonna put the same swing on it. Here at 6,700. Definitely looks like it's getting it by the picture of the spinning ball there in the QED software. Try it again. Oh, that hurt. 7,000. I mean, it looks like it's getting it. Let's hit a little bit of an out to end swing here. See if we can get the spin number to increase. And then 91. Okay. All right, so it's definitely looking like you can use the Shamrock little icons. Now, could you use the soccer balls? I don't know, I don't have one to test. But the Shamrocks seem to be working. Let's try one more thing here and then we'll do a comparison. So let's switch and add in a different club. All right, now I'm gonna hit the same max fly, but with a four hybrid. Let's see what kind of spin numbers we get. Again, these are just gonna be easy swings. I can't do too much right now. Okay, that was a misread. It's definitely a misread, but however it looks right. Yeah, I didn't hit it good, but saying 1000 spin, I take that one off. Let's try it again. Oh. All right, that felt correct. 2,700 spin. <sighs> 41. All right. I'll get rid of the bad ones. I'll get rid of the bad ones. Let's try a couple more using the TrueViz now. Then we'll go through here and clean these out. All right, so now we're gonna try the TrueViz with whatever kind of swing I can put on this thing. With the four hybrid. K, 
Okay, shot shape felt right. It's 2800 on that one. Definitely looks like it's getting it still. Let's try it again. Ooh, it hurts. 25 on that one. But it definitely looks like it's picking it up though. And let's try one more here. A fade swing. Ouch. 26. I wonder if it got that one good. Let's see what the picture looks like. No, it looks fine. So the graphic in the image looks like it's turning as it's turning. It doesn't look like it's any skipping frames or anything. So let's try one more here. And 22. Now, obviously these are two separate golf balls, so they're not gonna spin exactly the same. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can't make it spin more though. Okay, so it went up there. There we go. Let's see if the image looks any different. No, the image looks fine. Okay. Let's do one more. And 43. Okay, let's go look at these and see how we came out. Let's go into the club information here. Let's check out those two. So we have the TrueViz here showing a average of 3206. And then the hybrid with the MaxFly was showing 3474. So about the same. Okay. Again, it looks like the max fly is a little higher spinning though. Let's go to this pitching wedge test here with the true viz. Let's go back to this. So we got three and three. Okay, pretty similar. Let's go over to the club information. So we got the true viz pitching wedge with an average of 7624 backspin. And then the dots on the max fly 68. Obviously, these are all dependent on strike. But that's kind of close. It looks like you can do it. <laughs>